Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, some of the entry questions related to MPLS layer 3 VPN. This is a typical topology where you have a C router connected to the P1, then it goes to the provider router, then to the remote P2 router, and then to the C2. Let's consider we have a layer 3 VPN uh, running between the P1 and P2. Uh, in the production uh, service provider environment, we would have always seen the MPI BGP session is established only between your PE1 loopback interface to PE2 loopback interface. So, why we always uh, do this uh, MPI BGP pairing? Uh, between uh, the PE router, that is your local PE router and uh, to the remote PE router, always to the loopback interface. So this is the question. Uh, most of the uh, people always think that the reason for uh, establishing the, um, you know, the MPI visualization towards the uh, loopback interface is just to make sure we, you know, uh, keep uh, the BGP session always up because that is a logical interface it never goes down let's say if you create a, a MP BGP session between the P1 loopback interface 1.1.1 and uh, to the uh, let's say P2 uh, interface IP, IP that is whatever IP that you configure on this GIGI uh, 001 interface the MP IBGP session will still come up but why uh, we are not creating to any of the physical interface and we always do the pairing uh, between uh, the two uh, local and remote P routers uh, always to the loopback interface. Uh, that is the question. Uh, well, uh, to answer, um, if you form uh, MP BGP session um, between the loopback interface and the physical interface, the MP IBGP session will come up because as long as you have the IP reachability from your uh, local uh, BGP IP to your remote uh, neighbor uh, IP address through any IGP your uh, BGP session will always come up but whether the end-to-end -end layer 3 uh, communication of uh, your VPN will work or not is the question right um, let's say if you in this uh, topology let's say if you configure the MP IBGP session between P1 to the P2 interface IP address, physical interface IP address, that is GIGI0001 and uh, you configure a layer 3 uh, VPN, let's say VR of A and uh, you connect two C router, that is C1 with IP 10.1.1.1 slash 24 and on the P2 you connect a C2 uh, with IP 10.2.2.2 under the same VR of A whether the end-to-end -end ping between the C1 to C2 will work or not. So that is the question. Uh, I repeat it again. Let's say um, instead of creating your MPI BGP session between your P1 and P2's loopback IPs, if I configure P1 um, uh, loopback interface IP as a source BGP neighbor and uh, the remote BGP neighbor that is P2's uh, interface Kiki 001 IPs uh, your MP IPGP session will definitely come up whether your end to end um, ping between the C1 and C2 or the wear of A whether will it uh, work or not so think about it and put your uh, answers in the comments I will uh, um, you know give the answer in the next video